How is it to go one out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell. Be notified every time I make new videos. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite level or your favorite world in the game in the comments below. Also, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. Do you like sky levels and video games? Yes or no? If yes, which one's your favorite and least favorite? I love sky levels and video games. I just love the I just love how athletic they are. This is World 7. I love World 7 in this game. It's a really fun world. I just love the cloud worlds in Mario games. It's a pretty easy world overall. It's not too, too difficult by any means. But it's pretty long. And there's definitely quite a few secret exits here. But this world's not really that difficult by any means. It's pretty simple for the most part. But it... Okay, that's the first dark one. Very easy to get. Okay, so I know one of the Stark ones requires us to ride that block. I don't know if it's the second or the third one. I know it's one of the two. And I'm just going to ride the block. I just want to knock it out of the way now. Is it the second or the third star one? I don't know. I know it's one of the two. It's the second one. Okay. Let's get ourselves a one up right here. You have the fire chomps here and they're very annoying. You have to play this level twice to get all the star coins. That's the one sucky thing about this level. I mean, which I don't mind for this level because I, this level is very easy anyway. And like I said, World 7 is a very easy world in this game. And we'll have to play this level one more time to get the third star coin. But I'm glad we already got the second one and knocked it out of the way. Excuse me. It's a very, very fun world. I really like World 7 because of the athletic levels in this world. Okay, this time we don't need to ride the block. Because all it'll do is take us to Stark one number two. And we just need to ride the platforms now. Okay. Go inside the pipe. I think this is where the third stark one is. If I am not mistaken. We need to have both platforms activated anyway. Uh, because I'm not sure which one to ride on. Oh, I was supposed to ride on that one. Uh, oh, I do not like these fire chomps. These fire chomps are annoying. But we got our third star one. That's all that matters. Okay. Be careful. No! How did I die? How did I die? Okay. 
Oh, we need to ride the top platform. I know now. I do not like the fire chomps. Fire chomps are the worst enemies in this level. Because they're constantly trying to harass you. I'll be careful this time and make sure I don't get hit. And make sure that I, I don't even take a chance of dying. <laughs> See, if you keep running like that, you would think that you could go on all three platforms, but you actually can't go on all three platforms like I thought. So you have to um, basically um, jump instead of run fast like that. Now ride this platform up to this platform, and then ride this platform. That's how you get the last dark one. It's very easy, by the way. I'll, I'll make sure I don't run on those platforms like I did. And then go back to this platform, and there we go. That's easy. I hate those fire chomps. If you kill them, they'll come back. So, so you can jump easily and do it like that. You ride this platform up, jump! And top of the flagpole for the win like a boss. Mm. Very easy level, by the way. Here we go to the boo house. The last boo house of this game. And it's a pretty easy one, by the way. It's not really that hard. You have multiple doors here, so there's certain doors you have to go through to get some star coins. Is this the door I go through for one of the star coins? Um, I think it is. It's been a while since I played this, so I don't remember for sure. Oh, it's for one of the exits! I don't remember this level too much. I don't remember it that much. Ugh. Wow. Wow. I need to go through this door right here. No! There's nothing in that door. Okay, there's a star coin in this door. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this. Let's go on the very top door and see what's there. Excuse me. I know there's a star coin here. Okay, what's here? I did, uh, is this where one of the last Stark ones at? Or is it just a power up? I hope Stark one. Oh, it's so just a power up. Okay, I guess that door's useless. Because if you want to exit the level, no matter if you're taking the regular or the normal or the secret exit, you have to go in this door. Now we have to hit this switch. Can't even backtrack. 
And there's no checkpoints here. I have to kill myself on purpose because, wow. I was running so fast, and I knew I had to be fast. And the faster you go, the more likely you are to mess up. And that sucks. I wish life didn't work like that. But the faster you go, the more likely you are to make mistakes. That's the way just life works. And you have to be fast to get that star coin. Okay. Now we go in the very top. Yes, we do. I remember now. Ow! What is wrong with me today? I do not like those boos. Those boos are annoying. Okay. I know where to go now. Bottom right door. This is where we go now. We have to run, then get some momentum, jump, and then jump up here. That's it. We have to be really, really fast. That's the third star coin. All right, we did it. Now we just have to come back and do the secret exit. Every single boo house has a secret exit. That's the way it is in every new Super Mario Bros game. Okay. I'm thinking about splitting World 7 to a couple parts. Like, because I don't want to do it all in one video. Because I know if I do, um, it'll take a long time. Because it's a long world. I mean, it's not a difficult world, it's just a long world. So I'm splitting this into multiple parts. I think that's a good idea. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. How'd I do the secret exit? Did I just go in the wrong door again? Why'd I keep going in the wrong door? I guess I get confused. Okay, so once we get here, we have to hit this switch. We have to watch for the pointers, and then you want to hit the switch like that. That's the way you do that. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Oh. That is dope. Uh, that is dope. Come on. Uh! Why? I don't even remember what to do. I just don't remember what to do. It's not tough. It's not a difficult level. I, it's just been a while since I've played this, and I just don't know. Okay, now I think I can figure it out. Come on. I don't want to be stuck on it for too long. Okay. 
Okay. Which ones, which blocks do I hit? Oh, it's that one. The one that was shiny, I think, was the one you had to hit. There we go. We did it. Wasn't too hard, but it, it was annoying. But it was still very easy, nonetheless. Once we figured it out. But we did it. That's all it matters to me. Where does the secret exit unlock? Just a shortcut to the tower. 7-2. Okay, this level's fun. This level's very easy and very fun. This is a level where if you go on one side of the screen, you end up on the opposite side. Like this, and you have this tilting platform you have to ride on. It's really easy. It's really cool. I really like it. Like I said, World 7 is a very easy world for the most part. World 7 is usually pretty easy in most Mario games. Except for maybe the classic Mario games. I'm not saying it's difficult in the classic Mario games, but in the new Super Mario Bros. games, World 7 is usually pretty easy. Okay, that's the first dark one. Very easy. I just have to watch for the Koopas. Okay, be careful right here. It's cool that you go on one side of the screen and end up on the opposite. I just think it's cool. We have not found the second star coin yet. How does it take this long to go between one star coin and another? We got our second star coin. Very, very simple. That's all you gotta do. It's not too hard. Okay, we're going to do two more levels in this video, which is 7-3 and the tower. Because this world's just too long for one video. I mean, I guess I could do it all in one video. It would just be a long video. And I just want to have my videos just... I just want to be... I just want... Because when I did World 5 all in one video, it was almost an hour long. And I just don't want... I want my videos to be long enough, but I just don't want them to be too long. That's why I'm doing World 7 in at least two parts or more, maybe three if possible. Ugh. There we go, first dark one, very easy. That's all you gotta do to get it, just like that. This level's the level where you ride on a wiggler, pretty much. The cool thing about star power in this level is that it makes blue coins appear. 
That's why I love using star power in this game. I mean, that's why I love using it in this level, I mean. I love using it in the game in general because it makes you invincible. Where is the last star coin? Even I don't know. I'm small Mario and it's gonna be impossible to get it now. And there's no other power up. That sucks. Why did I get to small Mario that easily? I was trying my hardest to dodge the boomerang bro. He was being so provincial. He was being hot. He was being so haughty, like he really was. <sighs> That's annoying. I hate those boomerang bros. They're almost impossible to dodge. That's just how difficult they are to dodge. I do not want the blue shell. I hate that power up, like I said. Because that power up is very difficult to control. It's almost as bad as using the Spring Mario suit, and you know how hard that is to control. It's, but it's just only slightly better than the Spring Mario power up. Okay. I'll be careful. I promise. I'll be careful. Uh. Let me ground pound this. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so this ain't too hard. You just have to do this. That's all you gotta do. It's not too difficult. That's World 7-3. I hate I had to play the level twice because of what happened. But it is what it is. Now time to do the tower. This tower is pretty easy, actually. It's not really that hard. You have to watch out for these spikes here, basically. That's the gimmick of this level, is the spike. And you have to watch out for the platforms that crush you. But it's very easy if you know what to do. Just watch out for this. But it moves in a set pattern, so thankfully it's predictable. Okay, we got our first star coin. Very easy. Not too difficult. Okay. There we go. 
Watch out for these spikes. Make sure you duck underneath the spikes. Because if you don't duck, you'll get hit. That's just a warning. Okay, so watch out for these spikes. Oh, this is really dope. There's nothing up there. Not even a stark one. Sucks. Okay. Where's the second stark one? Because we went so long without getting it. Okay, watch out for these spike platforms. Just go along with the flow. It's not too difficult. Here is our second star one. So, this is the best way to navigate these platforms, is to do this. No! No, no! I... Why do I... Why did I get crushed? I was moving as fast as I can. The platform just happened to crush me. I knew to move quickly and I did. Okay. That's so dumb. That is so stupid for me to die like that. Wow. That is so dumb. Why did that happen? I don't know how it was even possible for it to happen. You would think it would be impossible for it to happen, but... Unfortunately... It happened. Because I know how to get it. I know the strategy to get it. It's just... You can get crushed so easily. Excuse me. Okay, here's what I think I should do. I should just wait. And then now, be quick when these platforms drop. Like that. There we go! <sighs> That was annoying. It wasn't difficult. It was just annoying. It was pretty simple once I figured out what to do. It was just really annoying. We know how to beat Bowser Jr. Same strategy as the other Bowser Jr. Though the Koopas would just do this. Pretty simple still. Not too difficult. And there we go! We did it! What? Let's go ahead and save our game, because why not? Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified every time I make new videos. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedbully.